Welcome to Morning Devotions. You can see I'm trying to do something a little different here in that I am uh, working outside and so the audio quality won't be as good. You might hear an airplane like right now or a lawnmower occasionally, uh, but I also hope you hear some of the natural bird sounds and etc as we open God's Word together. And we're going to start with that opening icebreaker question. Do you like roller coasters? I mean, do you enjoy them? Do you like getting on and being thrilled? Or are you one of those individuals that are, thank you very much, I'll stay on the ground. This is kind of a state fair question, by the way. And I'll go get a, a waffle cone or something like that. You can stop the video and talk about that if you want, uh, or think about it, or we can just continue. For me, I'm the stay on the ground type of person. Here's the thing, though, about roller coasters. I know they are safe. I know if I get on a roller coaster card, I have a 99.99 go for a long time with the nines percent chance of getting out of that roller coaster card. I know they're safe intellectually, but that doesn't start, stop my heart from pounding. That doesn't, it doesn't mean that I won't be scared in the roller coaster. You know, there's a lot of things in life like that. Maybe that we don't even know intellectually are safe for us. But God does. And when we're called to the will of God, we can proceed boldly whatever it is God's calling us to do, despite our fears. That's where Jonah comes in. And we're going to start at Jonah verse 10 and read the first two and a half verses. And the Lord commanded the fish. Remember, Jonah was swallowed by the fish. And it vomited Jonah onto dry land. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. And that's where I'm going to pause at this point. Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Our God is a God of second chances, and third, and fourth, and fifth. Continue for a long time. But if we want to make the most of those second chances, we have to do what Jonah is doing. And that is, obey the word of the Lord. Be willing to follow where God is leaning, leading. A lot of times we hang back because we're afraid. And so this morning I, I want to ask you, and this is going to be the question at the end, where is God calling you to? And where are you hanging back? You know, we will sometimes in this time of crisis, we want to protect ourselves. And that is a good thing. That's a natural thing. But sometimes God is calling us to do something. And I can't tell you what that is. It might be he's challenging some um, idea that you have. It might be that uh, he is um, uh, calling you to reach out to a neighbor. Whatever it is, wherever God is calling you, I want to encourage you to obey the word of the Lord. And let me give you a clue of how to hear God's voice. That's to go to scripture and measure it against that. So, for example, maybe God is calling you to respond to a friend or to respond to someone else that uh, you've been concerned to, to talk to. Maybe it's to ask for forgiveness or to forgive the individual. Well, let me give you a hint. We're going to be studying Galatians next after the book of Jonah. Let me give you a hint from Galatians. Paul says at the very end, he says, love one another as yourself. And in that, you fulfill the entire law. So if God is calling you to do something, he's calling you to love. Where is that? Where is God calling you? That's the question for the end of the devotion. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you're a God of second chances. 
And we ask that indeed we might follow your call and do what you want us to do. Make the most of the second chances and obey your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be hope-filled. Stay strong. And God bless.